It was a grand vision from the beginning. 75 years ago, leaders of conviction and courage set a new course for Dallas and medical science. Dallas, or in the early days, was uh, basically a medical wilderness, not having libraries or laboratories or a pathologist in the city. And when he uh, came to Dallas uh, to start his practice in 1902, there was none of that here. Well, he knew that it was going to take a heck of a lot of money to do this the right way. The foundation itself uh, it grew and grew and grew along with uh, in the early days with just, just friends and everybody got behind it. It was not a creation of the city but of the citizens of Dallas uh, seeing a need for their community. Uh, and they saw that to be a great city, uh, Dallas would need a medical center to train its uh, physicians uh, and also to be a source of improvements in healthcare through research. You can't be a world-class city such as Dallas is today without a, a teaching hospital and a medical center of the quality that we have. I, I can't imagine a more giving, uh, more altruistic place to be uh, than in Dallas, Texas. The medical community, and specifically UT Southwestern, is caught up in this spirit. It's a contributor to this spirit. And I think people want the city to work for people. As we look around the country and see other great medical centers, yes, over time, they have attracted uh, the interest and support of their communities. But in Dallas, that's where UT Southwestern Medical School started. 